We share our planet with several billion other humans. However, if you followed our channel for any amount of time, then you know that this Earth is also home to countless other animals and bizarre creatures. Today we're going to take a look at those insects and how they are quickly evolving to our ever-changing world. So be sure to grab that mosquito net, a can of bug spray, and hit those subscribe and notification buttons because where we're going, insects are evolving so quickly that we may not make it back. Resistant bees. Honeybees are such an important insect that a lot of what we humans enjoy about nature wouldn't exist without these busy little guys. A lot of the plants we love and fruits and vegetables we eat rely on honeybees and their ability to pollinate for survival. Recently, there has been concern over a certain mite which is destroying bee colonies all over America. Known as the Varroa destructor, you know this little mite packs a punch because it has the word destructor in its title. In all seriousness, up until now, when a mite infestation hit a colony, that was that. Bees were weakened and viruses spread wherever the little mite showed up. Yet evolution has stepped in to potentially save the day and show us how bees could adapt over the next 100 years. Researchers stumbled across a colony of wild bees who had adapted to the mite infestation not over hundreds of years, but just a couple of generations. These bees appeared to be able to survive the mites and even had the ability to groom themselves so as to clear away the pesky little intruders. All of this suggests that while we fear for our little bee friends today, Nature and evolution are moving quickly to adapt and create a future population of bees who are resistant to current threats. Moths to a light. We've all heard the saying, like moths to a flame. It's a reference to the fact that these little winged insects just can't resist bright lights. After all, who hasn't gone camping and watched a swarm of moths circle the lantern or even dive into the fire in a rather suicidal fashion? In the cities, just look up at the street lights, and you can often see several of these guys slamming themselves mercilessly against the fixture. Will the spread of human dwellings and the increase in light spell an end to the moth? Mm, not so much. And we have evolution to thank for it. You see, scientists took a group of moths from an area that was very dark with little light pollution and mixed them with a group from an area saturated in light pollution. Then they put them all in the same room. What researchers found was that when a fluorescent light was turned on at the one end of the enclosure, the country moths went crazy and charged at it. Meanwhile, the city moths mm, weren't impressed. Ultimately, evolution has started to condition the city moths to artificial light, and it's quite likely that in 100 years, most moths won't be overcome with the desire to turn into miniature kamikazes when it comes to your porch light. Oh, why hey there folks! Do you love watching our videos, but are you looking for a more ad-free browsing experience? Take your video viewing to the next level and sign up for the Premium Network. You'll get the first peek at the newest content from not only the richest, but Screen Rant, The Taco, The Sportster, The Things, and many more. Thousands of your favorite videos in one place is a no-brainer. Click here to be the first in line for the Premium. Cockroaches. Have you ever noticed that in pretty much every post-apocalyptic themed video game and movie there's some sort of scene or a reference to cockroaches? That's because these are nature's true survivalists. They've been around for hundreds of millions of years, breed like rabbits, and can live off of minimal food and water. We shouldn't be surprised by how resilient these creatures actually are. After all, they've had around 300 million years to adapt and flourish. Researchers have come up with more interesting and terrifying news. You know those little poison traps you use to get rid of small roach infestations? Well, cockroaches have demonstrated that they are learning not to eat from those. Scientists have actual evidence that shows these gross little insects have learned through generations of evolution not to eat the sugar-flavored poison after previous generations had fallen for the sweet trick. We'd say that only leaves us the option of taking off and nuking the Earth from orbit. But we all know that cockroaches are fairly resistant to radiation, so we still wouldn't get them all. Ugh. Thanks a lot, evolution. Dark flies. In the world of insects, many types of flies are only active during the daylight hours. For instance, whether house flies or fruit flies, these winged pests tend to ply their trade when the sun is up or the lights are on in the room. One study has shown, however, that in well under a century, flies can adapt to live and reproduce 
in total darkness. In the 1950s, one study placed a group of fruit flies in total darkness. 60 years and 1,500 generations later, the offspring of these fruit flies have developed an ability to operate in total darkness just as well as normal insects do in daylight. What this means in evolutionary terms is that flies possess the ability to adapt to any changes in light. For instance, should the atmosphere become filled with soot from a volcano or fallout from a nuclear war, the drastic change in light would not wipe out flies thanks to this evolutionary reaction. In fact, judging by how well such insects evolve, we wouldn't put it past them to be able to evolve little Canada goose parkas to meet the inevitable chill of a nuclear winter. Blech. Wasps. Wasps. They're like the angry and much uglier cousins of the honeybee. But hey, we're not here to judge, only to talk about evolution. When it comes to wasps, researchers were pretty much in agreement that very little had changed with these insects over the last 34 million years. We guess in this sense, nature decided if it wasn't broken, why fix it? However, some researchers have recently discovered that a few different wasp types have actually started evolving into a totally new type of the insect. In the case of the wasp's evolution, experts say the insects are evolving as their food source evolves. In this instance, a very specific fruit fly has evolved over several decades. We guess nature decided the changes were enough that the fly's predator, the wasp, can now go through some changes of its own. It's not very dramatic, but it does suggest that over the next 100 years, we could start seeing many new types of wasps. All right, bug aficionados, it's time to see just how much you know. According to experts, there are how many known species of insects living all over the world? A, 170,000, B, 950,000, or C, 1.4 million. We'll give you the answer after we tell you about these awesome evolving bugs. Peppered moths. Unfortunately, humans are pretty destructive and a lot of what we do actually hurts the environment. This includes the destruction of many species of insects and animals. Expanding cities, deforestation, chemicals in the water, these are all examples of the way we damage the earth. Incredibly, some insects have shown the ability to evolve so quickly to the changes we bring about that they can actually undergo multiple changes in a rather short time span. Take the peppered moth, for example. Originally, this little guy was speckled white and black so as to blend in on tree trunks. Then, when industrialization hit in the 19th century, smoke and soot tended to cover large areas, making the peppered moth stand out. Over the following 100 years, evolution stepped in and actually transformed the moth to all black in order to totally blend in among the pollution. Today, with new regulations in place, our pollution has been cut back dramatically, and the peppered moth has had to adapt again. This time, it slowly started to go back to its speckled color palette to better hide from birds. In fact, if we keep cutting emissions over the next 100 years, evolution could bring this moth full circle in terms of its natural camouflage. Quiet Crickets Do you remember the tagline from the 1979 hit sci-fi film Alien? It was, in space, no one can hear you scream. Well, we think that tagline, with a little adjustment, could be appropriately applied to the beloved cricket. Yes, that little chirping insect that keeps us up at night apparently had its own little run-in with a rather disturbing creature. Now, this might be a bit disgusting to hear, but bear with us. In Hawaii, the crickets lived what we imagined to be a happy cricket life. Then a fly, known as the Ormia acrisea, showed up. The problem with this fly was that it preferred to lay its eggs inside live crickets. Then, in a scene reminiscent of John Hurt and the alien, the fly maggots come bursting out of the cricket, ending the life of the insect. Research showed the flies were able to locate the crickets thanks to the trademark chirping we are all used to hearing. Enter evolution. By wiping out chirping male crickets, the non-chirping variety lived on. The result is that the cricket populations are going quiet as a result. In the end, it's very possible that this could extend to all crickets as the alien fly wipes out the rest. Bed bugs. In the world of annoying and disgusting insects, we figure the bed bug is right up there with the cockroach. At least the cockroach doesn't go out of its way to bite us or feed on our blood. Obviously, these parasitic little bugs get their name because they enjoy living in and around our beds, or dinner table, as they likely think of it. Known pests for thousands of years, the developed world nearly got rid of them for good in the mid-20th century. 
Then people started traveling more and evolution decided it was time to step in. You see, for years, professional exterminators used all sorts of poisons to get rid of bed bug infestations. Yet with every successive generation of bed bugs, they got a little stronger and more resistant to the chemicals. It's so bad that today's infestations are breaking out everywhere, and a visit by the local pest control is no guarantee that the bugs will be removed. In a rather sick and twisted trick played on us by Mother Nature, one of the primary predators of the bed bug is none other than the cockroach. Ugh, we kid you not. Smarter spiders. They inspire great horror movies, provide endless reasons never to travel to Australia, and scare the heck out of us when we spot one out of the corner of our eye. Okay, so spiders aren't technically insects, they're arachnids. However, we'll let that slide this one time since many of us pretty much think of them in the same class. In any event, most of us see spiders on a daily basis. Usually, they are in the garden or likely up in the corner of the ceiling, spreading around those messy cobwebs. Despite the fact that they are very helpful around the house by eating all sorts of smaller insects, many of us simply swat these little guys when we see them. Well, thanks to evolution, every time you swat a spider, you're actually contributing to making them smarter. That's right. Experts believe that when we squash a spider in our house, we are removing the dumber spiders from the gene pool. This leaves the smarter and more elusive arachnids to breed future armies of little eight-legged Einsteins. Fortunately, while they may be getting smarter thanks to evolution, scientists haven't said if they are getting any larger. Ugh. Ant super colonies. Over many years, ants have evolved to perform a variety of functions as well as the ability to live in a variety of climates. This honeypot ant is a perfect example. Thanks to evolution, this guy is kind of like a food truck in the ant world. When other ants need nourishment, they drop by and the honeypot ant releases some nectar from its tank. Yet, evolution is throwing experts a bit of a curve in the ant world. You see, ants develop colonies with one queen. That's not unusual. However, researchers are finding more and more super colonies. This occurs when one colony with one queen joins forces with another and then another. These super colonies then wipe out any other ants who stand in their way and can grow to thousands of kilometers in size. It begs the question, in 100 years, could we be faced with one mega super colony of ants spanning the globe? In addition to going against what we thought was normal for ants, it sounds disturbingly a lot like what governments and countries do in the human world. We figure it's only a matter of time until the ants demand a seat at the UN. So, do you know how many species of insects have been identified on Earth? Is it A, 170,000, B, 950,000, or C, 1.4 million? The answer, B, 950,000. That's a lot of different bugs crawling and flying around out there. And that still doesn't include the many species that haven't been identified. Just remember, no matter how creepy they can get, each plays a role in keeping our ecosystem balanced. Well, we guess it's time for us to make like a bee and buzz off for now. If you found this interesting, then be sure to check out the other videos we have available at The Richest. From strange creatures to even more evolution and bugs, we've got biology classes covered here. Be sure to show us you're on board by clicking that subscribe button before you head off for the day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.